the instructions so I can read. I know y'all aren't going to read the instructions. Oh, Forrest, hold on. Is there a Sharpie in here? Before we get started in today's video, we must... You're not writing anything on me. No, no, we don't write on you. This will work. An ink saw. All right, take your hat off. Stand up here. Got to get your height in the day. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, hold on. All right, take, all right, you're good? All right. That was not that low. I was not that low. Dude. I'm not shorter than Logan and Chris Pittman. There's no way. <laughs> All right, here, here, here. turn around, turn around. We'll do it again. Are right, you? Yeah, you mark it. You mark it. All right, hold on. Right there. there. Right there. I mean, it might be even giving you a little bit on that. Oh, it's got a little dip to it. You're leaning. You're I keep a gangster lean. What's the date today? Two three. Something like that. Twenty four. All right. So look, there we go. We got Scott. All that. That seems false. Is Scott that tall? I guess he is He's that tall. He, did we go to the top of? We went, off the, we went off the top of his hair. He, he earned that, though. So, Scott's second to CJ. And then down here, we got Chris Pittman, Mason, Logan, Forrest. You're just above me. I'm holding my own, though. I'm holding my own. I'm holding my own. All right. So, what we're doing today is finally, Scott, how long have I been talking about this accessory drive? Six months. Six months. <laughs> I could not tell you guys how many times. Actually, I can tell you exactly how many times I've had these heads on and off this motor. So, we had some... Um, Push rod into lifter issues, which we then resolved. Shout out to Randy at Johnson Lifters. My man Mason swapped some rockers and didn't tell us he didn't tighten them. And the push rods came out of the lifter and we turned the motor over. It actually bent the body of the lifter. So in turn, we had to get some new lifters. Then after we put everything together, I put the heads on with the new lifters in there yesterday. I had this lower pulley i didn't have it fully installed because you can't fully install it with the uh water pump and everything is this gonna hit no we're good okay I, i'll let me just let me do one one thing at a time so this thing was on here kind of yeah it was on there kind of crooked right and as you spun it as you spun the motor over it would kind of make a noise like that and i thought that there was here i'll take this now mm -hmm. i thought that something fell in the motor so I pulled a head off and checked. Nothing fell in the motor. Still left this on there. Didn't know this was the issue. Put that head back on. Turned the motor upside down. Spun the motor over to check for the windage clearance. Sounded like something else was in there. So I pulled that head off. Then I realized it was this. So I took this off. Put that head back on. Then I had a lifter come out of a rocker. And the motor was in a bind. So I took both heads back off again. So just yesterday I had the heads off four times. And now I got it right. And here we are. But we're all human. I'd like, to I'd like to point out that mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. But they've been rectified. There was no adult supervision. Scott I wasn't was here. here. Scott was <laughs> not here. So I got everything on. The motor turns over. Put the windage tray on. Had to space the windage tray up. Got the oil pan on there. Oil pan fit like shit. It was like an Amazon Jags unit. Don't recommend. I really, I really don't recommend <laughs> that. We're gonna we're gonna put everything. We should be able to set the blower on. I'm still waiting for a lid and an intercooler brick, and then this should be ready to drop in. So uh, let me get these on and put my phone on the charge so we can film more, and then uh, we'll get a time lapse going of, of our assembly here. seven on this accessory <laughs> drive i now remember why i'm a turbo guy it's kind of cool i guess 
but it seems a lot very unnecessary, doesn't it? There's there, a lot of pieces. There's a lot. There's a lot of. Shit. There is complex. All of this is why crankshafts don't like blower motors. Yeah, just think the crank has to, to spin all this nonsense. Yes, yes it does. The 12 rib setup is just so excessive. Of course, that's the one you bought, Tom. Because why would? I really tried to get a cog setup, but I couldn't get the pulley ratio I wanted. So what is that, a stud? It's funny too, because it adjusts in like three different ways. <laughs> Look at how close that shit is. This is definitely a precise uh, setup. But yeah, so what are your thoughts? LSX concept so far? They give you instructions, which yeah, is- The stuff fits good. <laughs> it does fit. It's it definitely, really well. from what I've researched, definitely the more expensive one. But I figured when in Rome, you know? All the stuff seems to be really nice. It's yeah. just complex. It all yeah, fits. Not, I mean, it, it fits really, really good. good. That's not a negative on the kit. It's just a complex yeah. deal. Well, there's Scott's a lot been going on. No, there's definitely a lot going on. Because we're running air conditioning, AC power steering alternator, 12 rib blower. And a bottom pulley the size of a spare tire. Yeah, and a large bottom pulley. This is not going to fit inside the framers of that F body. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. This is complex. Yeah, wait till we put it in a car. <laughs> no, I'm wondering gonna... when the boom on our motor stand is just literally going to fall over because there's so many things bolted to the front of the motor. <laughs> we're just add, we keep <laughs> adding to it. <laughs> we're building on it's going to be a 12 cylinder here. So we're just <laughs> we're, adding on we're to the front. We're going to have to leave the door open. <laughs> <laughs> there's just more and more things. Oh on my the engine. god. It's oh wait, so is that how you tension it? Because it's got multiple spots, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, brother. There's lots of things going on here that we have to work on. Dude, I plan to daily this. I'm after whenever I get somewhere, it's gonna be like a helicopter. After 20 hours of driving, you're gonna have to go and nut and bolt the whole thing. Oh yeah, I have to build an inspection cycle for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take two hours to nut and bolt the whole front accessory drive. <laughs> hey, but I know an A&P licensed mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, update before I have to depart swiftly. Uh, it is a lot of billet. It's coming together. It looks badass. The engine stand screaming. The engine stand's gonna break. Well, I, dude, there's no way. Like, we put big blocks on these. A cast big block? Yeah, but it's, it's got a lot of lean to it. Just, can we get perspective of that? It's got, a, it's not, it's not standing up tall right now. It's okay. No, it's leaning forward for it's, sure. It's having a hard day. It's okay. Homer's was just working on <laughs> He's like, whatever. It falls on the ground. He's just <laughs> working on it. On the still <laughs> working on it. He's like, I've been in less than ideal conditions okay. before. Oh, my God. This is not going to fit through the bottom of the car. No. This will all have to be reassembled in the car. No, I'm going to leave it assembled here for a while. I can tell you that. I'm just going to look at this shit daily. Let's build a kickstand. Yeah, we'll put a, a, something under, under the... I always put a stool under there and then wedge this up. Yeah. That... Hey, pull that website back up so we can get a picture. The more uh, the more shit we bolt on, the less hope I have for this rotating assembly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we are. We got the whole blower accessory drive on there. Absolutely badass. Scott did a great job. We got it all mocked up there. We're going to get it set in the car. We were going to get it set in the car. And then we decided, hey, we should probably go out here and just, like, take some measurements. So we run out here and take some measurements. As you can tell by if I am filming the measurements, we are having some potential issues. We're having some potential fitment issues. The motor. What? What? Don't say I know about those problems. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. 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 Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, I need some more, uh, <laughs> you, you lost it's me, you lost me there. Did I? Yeah. All right, anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, okay, we have some serious, some serious issues. So, spread on the top, 36 inches. The accessories, 
obviously ride almost the same spot but the alternator has some meat to it so it hangs back like here ac compressor hangs back here alternator hangs back here so i know you're saying oh just trim the strut tower you can't because it all bolts in there so actually after all this time the blower motor for my daily my f body doesn't fit it doesn't fit it doesn't fit oh this is no bueno so as you can see the accessory drive is about the same but this hangs back all the way into you know the first exhaust port what are your thoughts of this glorious supercharged that motor massive. it does look massive doesn't it Why? what's going on with this what are these? so this is these are normally like tucked in down here but because of the whole supercharger accessory drive it doesn't fit so i thought it would fit clearly why i purchased it and built it all but it doesn't fit. Scott. Yes, sir. What do we do? It doesn't fit. We put it in the truck. We're going to put it in the truck. So we'll put this in the truck. And then I guess my daily, we'll just do a Huron Speed Turbo Kit. Which or, I. Or a big block Chevrolet. I, that that could be something different. Mm -hmm. I was So John from Huron Speed actually supplied the fuel system for this build for the F-Body. Uh, we have a Huron Speed Twin. I guess it's like a two-stage fuel system in-tank deal with all the lines and fittings and everything. So shout out to them. But he told me, he's like, hey, don't even bother wasting your time with that blower stuff. Just put a turbo on it. And I, stubborn John came in. It's a possibility. And I was like, no, 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 the blower will be cool. Wow, it doesn't fit. So it doesn't even go in there. Built this whole motor. This whole time is going to be for my daily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, Laura, I'm not taking apart the car just yet, it oh, looks like. God. It looks like, but we'll put this in the truck. Put this in the Camaro. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because horsepower. <laughs> this one, this one, like I still got my air, my air conditioning, my power steering, and my alternator, so it wasn't a race car. No, but I mean it's a it's a perfectly great um, daily. It just needs a new clutch. I got a new clutch, one that's made for like. Is it in there? Not yet. Oh. Well, I was gonna put everything in. So you could just put a new clutch in there and call it a day, and not have to make a whole project for yourself. That Instead, would. Here we are. That would be that would be way too easy. That would be boring. Right? That would be boring. I'm we should keep her around, around though. She know keep us grounded. Yes, I'd have. I probably have more running vehicles, but we're gonna put this in the Colorado because everything does fit. So. I mean, really, all you need was a clutch. I got one, but it's made for like a thousand horsepower. So we need to up the horsepowers to make the clutch happy. It's all it's all a nice ecosystem. It's got to work well together. It's a toxic cycle. Yes. What you just did. Is that what it was? <laughs> well, it looks badass. So shout out to Scott for putting it together. It it's, fits. It's I glorious. Mean, hey, hats off to LSX Concepts. That stuff fits well. So instead of being a, I mean, the motor itself is very similar to the motor that's in the Colorado now, which came out of Hank. So it's a 408 cubic inch. This one's got LS3 heads. The other one's LS1 heads. Um, same cam. It's got the T-cam lamb cam in there. So essentially, it's very similar combo just with the blower. This should fit by our just early quick measurements. So if we put this in there, instead of being behind uh, or in front of a manual transmission, we'll put it in front of a 4080 with a Circle D triple disc lockup. And this should be pretty fun. I'll be a blast. Yeah. Uh, like, it, through a 4L80, if we can make 750 to the tire through a 4L80, that's in a four-door pickup truck. It'd be a Z06, a Z06 eater. Yeah, that's it. That That's what we're looking for. Something we can go out there and beat up on a Corvette with someone hanging out of the back window and maybe Logan laying in the bed. With spare parts rolling around yes. the bed of the truck. Oh All right, well, um, the unfortunate news come with a an Audible. So we're still going to use this motor, but it doesn't... It doesn't fit where I thought it would. It happens. <laughs>